the Colorado River's water levels are continuing to decline at an unusual rate as a result of a once-in-a-lifetime drought in the West. The biggest reservoirs in the country, Lake Mead and Lake Powell, are significantly impacted by this. This week, the Bureau of Reclamation, which determines where and how much water is used, declared that the water levels on Lake Mead and Lake Powell have reached a critical level in the year 2023. Lake Mead will experience its first ever level 2A shortage. This implies that those who get their water from the reservoirs will need to make some sacrifices. The biggest cuts will be made in Arizona in 2023, when they will amount to almost 21% of the state's yearly allotment. Nevada will experience an 8% reduction in its annual allotment. About 7% of the country's annual quota will go to Mexico. Under this operational scenario, California, where the majority of the nation's food is produced, will not be subject to any mandatory water reductions in 2023. In the water year 2023, Lake Powell will function in the lower elevation balancing tier. The National Park Service has closed six of Lake Powell's seven boat ramps, a sizable lake for water sports. In the near future, Arizona will likely experience floods brought on by the monsoon season. It's vital to keep in mind that rainfall has little effect on the reservoirs because most of their water comes from Colorado snowpack. In Arizona, heavy rains are more likely to result in floods than in an increase in the amount of water available for lakes and rivers. Because of Arizona's dry, rocky soils poor capacity to absorb water, flood conditions can arise suddenly and without notice. With no quick relief from the drought in the west in sight, it is possible that Florida and the rest of the United States will experience effects on crops and produce delivery by 2023.